Good day. I'm Rimor John Yamba. For this video, going to um, tackle all about the chapter 2, which is entitled Ecosystem and Biodiversity. So let's start with the ecosystem. Ecosystem, guys, says, start this, yeah. Ecology. Ecology, guys, is a term was first coined by Hans Ritter and Heikel in 18. 69. The term ecology or ec ec ecology is originated from um, two Greek words which is oikos which means house or place of living. The naikaduha nga uh, word, nga Greek word is the ology which means scientific or the study of hens. Muna siyang ology. Eco, um, eco means house or place of living. Ology means scientific or study of hints. Ecology is a branch of science that deal with the study of the pattern of the relative between organism and their environment. Also, uh, ecology is the study of interaction among organism with their environment. This is a study of ecosystem. So, ang kini ecology day is 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 the study of ecosystem. The study of interaction among organism with their um, environment. So, mato siyang ecology. Ah. Ecology was ang um, term, ang kining term nga pangan nga ecology was first gikoin ni siya ni Hans Ritter and Heikel in 1869. Then, ang ikaduha guys is ang ecosystem. So, ang ecosystem guys is was in 18, ah, uh, um, kining ecosystem is uh, in 1935 1935 the british ecologist E.G. translate coined the term ecosystem so ang ecosystem dai gi coin ni kuan british uh, ecology ecologist nga si E.G. translate in 18 uh, in 1935 in 1935 1935 si E.G. translate which is ang ecosystem is made up of two greek word which is eco ang eco means ecology or spare, no? Uh, ecological spare. Or house, of uh, place of living. House or place of living, surroundings or environment where uh, living organism does not exist. Mano sang eco. So, ang eco day guys is, uh, means ano, is ecological spare, house or place of living, surroundings or e environment where living organism does not exist. Mano siyang eco. Then, ay kaduha nga, uh, uh, Greek word is ang system. System means group of organism daw, joined with regular, interdependent. So, what ito? Ang ecosystem day, nag, uh, kuha niya siya. Eco, nag-start niya siya sa, do, 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 ka, uh, Greek word, which is eco and system. Ang eco is man siya, uh, also known as, uh, meaning, ecological sphere. Eco means ecological sphere, um, house, place of living. Um, surroundings or environment where living organism does not exist. While ang koan system is means means group of organism. System is group of organism joined with regular inter interdependent. So ang system is a uh, group of organism. Group of organism joined with regular and interdependent. Group of organism with their surroundings is example um, lake pond. Um, Ecosystem, uh, yes, ecosystem, example, lake, pond, sa pagyod, forest, uh, sa pagyod, desert. So, muna siya, guys, as, uh, group of organism with their surroundings. So, fundamental characteristic of ecology. Uh, Unang-una is the structure. There are two structure of, um, um, eco ecology, guys, as, which is the living or biotic, non-living or abiotic, mato siyang structure. Ang structure sa kuan, uh, ecology is um, biotic and abiotic. Abiotic means um, non-living. Living is mato siyang biotic. Biotic means living. Abiotic means non-living. Si kaduha nga kuan guys, is, um, characteristic is the process. Ang process dahi guys is sinayduha ka buok which is the energy flow um, and uh, cycling of matter. 
energy flow and cycling of matter then ang ikasunod nga characteristics the changes there are two which is the dynamic and succession dynamic and succession dynamic ang and succession kad sunod is ang function function um is na na one uh, lima ka function ang kuan ang ecology which is the food chain food wave ecological pyramid um energy um energy flow cycling of matter so mato siya guys yes. so there are characteristic of ecosystem mana ta sa characteristic of ecology no mauna to then sunod na buta sa characteristic ta buta of ecosystem um characteristic characteristic of ecosystem is um uh, ecosystem is the basic function unit of ecology so ang kanda ecosystem is the basic functional unit of ecology it contains with biotic and the biotic component uh, ecological succession is ecosystem uh, passes from the from a less complex state to more complex state mo na ecological succession ecological succession is ecosystem passes from a less complex state is, uh, ang kuanda ecological succession is uh, ecosystem passes from a less complex state for uh, to more complex state states basta mo na siya ecosystem passes uh, uh, balik ecological uh, succession is kuan ecosystem passes from a less complex state to more complex state 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 asam na siya ang paglitok then energy needed to maintain ecosystem depend on the structure energy needed to maintain ecosystem depend on the structure classification of ecosystem there are two which is the natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem so when we say guys as when we say when we say um there are two no the so when we say natural ecosystem uh, this is a kind um this is, a, uh, this is um type of ecosystem classification of ecosystem First classification of ecosystem is the natural ecosystem which is developed and governed by nature. So, mauna siya ang natural ecosystem. Developed and governed by nature. Capable to operate and maintain um, themselves without major inference. So, two types of natural ecosystem guys is terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic um, ecosystem. When we say terrestrial ecosystem, this is a kind of... Um, um a kind a kind of a natural natural ecosystem which is um ecosystem of the land related ecosystem re related to the land which is the grassland ecosystem forest land ecosystem and a desert land ecosystem ano siya ang terrestrial ecosystem then ay kaduha nga type sa um, natural ecosystem is the aquatic ecosystem when we see aquatic ecosystem guys as, this is related to the water divided into two, into two types aquatic ecosystem is related to water divided into two types which is the fresh water and the marine water when we see fresh water guys as, or fresh water ecosystem is divided into two which is the surface water and then the running water when we see uh, oh, the standing water and the uh, running water when we say standing water this is a kind of surface water uh, water that one that was we can we see you know we see in our eyes masa sa mga water nga surface then uh, when we say standing uh, water this is a kind first we uh, first type of uh, surface water which is um got example ani ani nya is gone stand man no uh, lake uh, pond uh, mauna siya plate and ponds mauna siya sample sa standing water din ang kaduha nga ko is running water running water guys is is ko an kaduha nga type sa uh, ter, uh, sa um surround uh, sa fresh water which is example lang ning ani ani kay ko an streams and river so mauna siya streams and river ang sample lang ning running water which is nag flow siya din ang kaduha nga ko an type sa aquatic ecosystem or it is the marine ang ikaduha is marine ecosystem ang ikaduha nga type sa aquatic ecosystem which is ang kining marine ecosystem is mao ni siya ang katong uh, seas and then seashores mao siya guys as. 
Then ang sunod na po ng, uh, is ang nato, uh, artificial or man-made artificial ecosystem. When you see artificial ecosystem, this is created and maintained by man for his different for their different needs. Which is ang example lang ani is ang reservoir, artificial lake and uh, gardens. So reservoir, so katong mga dam, dam ana. Ato siya ang artificial ecosystem which is a uh, reservoir uh kuan siya created by um man which is not natural which is um man will uh, build uh, that certain um kind of ecosystem then next is the structure and or component of ecosystem there are two, um there are two kum uh, structure and component of ecosystem this the same lagi po sa ecology which is ang kuan ya po sa ecosystem this connect kuan man siya no sa ecology which is ang ecosystem is kuan um nasa duha ka structure which is the which is the biotic uh, component uh, and uh, the abiotic component when you see biotic component this is living component of an ecosystem example na lang ani is ang plant animals and uh, microorganism so plant uh, in this kind uh, um, in the ecosystem is uh, this is the producer or the autotrophs this is uh, the auto means ko ano siya means self Trops means feeder. So, ang kining plant is autotrophs na siya. Isa ka ni siya ka, kuan, autotrophs, which is self feeder. So, producer ng plant. Ikaduha is the animal, which is consumer ng animal, which is, kitawag na siya, heterotrophs. Hetero means, um, in another, no? Hetero means, um, in another then um, feeder, ang trops. Then, microorganism, katulog, which is, muna siya ang mga decomposer decomposer microorganism which is uh gitawag ni siya sa protops sa protops so mo siya guys as. so producer or autotrophs or so known as auto means self trophs means produ um uh, means feeder um self producing organism are known as autotrophs self producing organism are known as autotrophs which mo siya ang plants second is the consumer or heterotrophs Heterotrophs or hetero means other, then trophs means feeder. So, plant eating species such as insect, um, rabbit, goat, deer, cow, and etc. Mano siya mga kuan, um, plant eating species nga na bilong di sa heterotrophs. Ang animal eating species, fish, lions, tiger, tiger mano siya ang kuan. Consumer gapo ni siya. Mano siya ang kuan. Then, if ang kining duha magsagol niya ako discuss consumer divide in so consumers no ang consumer gi divide divide siya divide into four type which is the herbivore carnivore omnivore and didri di, didritivore when we say herbivore or primary consumer tawag ni ang mga herbivore ha mas mga kuan primary consumer which is money siya ang mga plant eater plant eater ha herbivore herb niya na discuss na ko na Uh, herbivores mga plant eater carnivore is money siyang secondary consumer which is mga meat eater mga carne mga o carne mga animal kaon niya pag animal then ang katulo is ang um, omnivore which is tawag niya siyang tertiary consumer which is uh, nagkaon niya siya duha both uh, plant or animal plant or animal money siya and then um the three the three tibor is the dead or organism eater. So, mauna siya ang mga uh, organism nga gagkaon mga patay ng mga uh, animals, no? Or sa pamandra. Then, uh, uh, ato na pong i-describe. Usa din yung herbivore. When herbivore, guys, is, we say herbivore, guys, bam, the word herby means green plant, no? Uh, then, borer uh, means uh, to the bore, to the bore, to the bore, to the bore. Carnivore is, means, uh, carne is flesh meat, flesh meat, flesh meat. So, Borer uh, is to the bore. Next is the omnivore. Omni means um, whole. Means whole. Omni means whole. Comes from um. Then borer is to the bore. Then the three bore is the three feeder. So animal that eat dead organism and waste of living are called the three bore. So mga katong mga uh, animals no? gagkataon o mga patay ng mga organism and unsa pa mandraa ng mga hugaw, mga waste, mga ito siya nabilong sa detribor. Then, 
the decomposer or the sub sub true troops so ang sub true means uh, uh, rotter 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 so ang sub true troops na guys is ikatulo ni siya uh, or decomposer sub true troops ikatulo ni siya tulo na type sa biotic component uh, which is decomposer or sub true troops sub 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 pros means rotter rotter then troop troops means feeder So rather Peter, rather, rather than Peter. Mana sih ya? Angkuan sapro. Next, guys, is kawan. Mana tahu sebaya uti komponen no structure sa ekosistem. Ikan dua nampun ni structure sa ekosistem is the abiotic component. When we say abiotic component, this is non-living component of ecosystem, which in enter the body of organism, enter the body of organism. Mana sih ya mangga? abiotic component so uh, ni siya divided into two uh, into three ang kining abiotic component which is the cli climate climate uh, factor physical factor and chemical factor when we say climate factor this is solar radiation temperature wind water come and rainfall mo siya ang mga climate factor when we say physical factor this is light light fire soil air etc mo na siya mga physical when we say chemical chemical is organic and inorganic substances climate factor solar, radi solar radiation temperature, wind, water and uh, rainfall when we say physical factor light, fire, soil, air etc mo na siya mga physical chemical sa organic and uh, inorganic substances Chemical factor, we know that chemical factors divided into two organic substances and inorganic substances. Type of function of primary, type of functions of abiotic, which is the primary function and secondary functions and tertiary functions. We know that primary function, this is the producer make their food themselves. So, the primary function is nabilong dito mga plants, which is nag make sila pun themselves. So kan sila mga producer. Then secondary function is i consumer. Mao siya mga consumer cannot make their own food depend on the producer. Nagadepend sila sa primary function. So ang kining secondary function cannot make their own food which is nagadepend sila sa primary primary function. Then next is the tertiary function. Tertiary function is decomposer attack the dead bodies of um, consumers and producers produces decompose themselves into simpler compound so ang uh, tertiary uh, function is nasi uh, upat ka, ka type is the food chain food waves food pyramids and energy flow ano siya guys then food chain guys is anything which we eat anything which we eat is called food food contains energy ang mag una tasa ko na food chain nga type siya sa tertiary function so ang unang nga type sa tertiary function is food chain when we see food chain guys is anything which is we eat ang uh, food chain is anything which is we eat is called food food contains energy which is the process of transfer of food or energy from organic to a series of organic called food chain so mauna siyang food chain food chain is the process of transfer of food or energy from the organism to a series of organism is called food chain mauna siyang food chain so example lani is um Sun, uh, sun, padong siya sa producer, kaon na po sa herbivore, kaon na po sa carnivore, kaon sa omnivore, din kaon na yun sa decomposer. Sun, uh, sun, producer, um, herbivore, um, herbi herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, then last is decomposer. And then, root, 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 root na po. Muna siya ang kwan, guys, example sa food chain. Then, ha? Then, Uh, diri na uh, type of food chain the grazing food chain uh, ikadawa is detritus food chain then parasitic food chain grazing food, food chain detritus food chain parasitic food chain uh, start as a grazing food chain when we say grazing food chain start with the green plant gas uh, goes uh, to decomposer through herbivore and carnivore mo na grazing food chain which is uh, it has two types which is the terrestrial and aquatic food chain ang kining grazing food chain so ang when we say uh, uh, terrestrial what i have said earlier ang ter when we say uh, terrestrial ecosystem or uh, part types of uh, um, grazing food chain 
uh, when we say uh, this is food chain which is related on the land which is um, grassland, forest land, desert land. Mauna siyang um, mga food chain nga pwede uh, belong sa grazing food uh, there is a, a terrestrial. Then um sampo na lamang sa kuan grasses which is grasshopper, uh frog snake, eagle mana siya, snake and eagles. Then forest is green plant, deer, tiger or lion. Aquatic food chain guys is, is kuan um this is slightly different from terrestrial food chain. Ang aquatic is slightly different because food chain in water is aquatic food chain. So, different siya sa kuan, different siya sa terrestrial it's because kuan siya, mo siya mga food chain nga nabilong dito sa mga water resources, so, siya nabilong sa mga land. So, uh, sample ang kuan ni type ni kuan. The marine food chain, then fresh water food chain. Mato siya. Then sunod na punta guys is, is the diri na punta sa ikaduha is the this detritus food chain ang unang-una sa to grazing food chain man to no ikaduha nga type sa food chain is detritus food chain detritus food chain is a uh, dead plant dead plant uh, which is um um kain mato siya ang uh, uh food, detritus food chain is example lang is dead plant soil mate algae, crabs, la, uh, small fish, then large fish. Man, mano siyang kuan. Uh, detritus food chain of the other uh, kuan. This detri, detritus food chain. So, ang detritus food chain guys is, is start with dead organic matter gas goes to the decomposer through consumer. So, sa, kuan daw, nag-start din sa mga dead, mga dead, dead nga mga kuan, orga, organic matter, which is organic man. So, mga plant ni siya. So, nga mat patay nga mga um, plant which is nag dead plant. Nag ang kining dead tritus is nag start ni siya sa um, dead organic matter which is mga dead plant. Start sa dead plant sa uh, soil. Then, padung siya sa algae, crabs. Ang algae kaon sa crabs. Then, ikaon na sa small fish. Ikaon na sa large fish. Mano siya ang kwan. Dead tritus. Sample. And then, next na sabta is ang... Um, Uh, next is um man, next guys this is the parasitic component so manata sa di ko ano over grazing uh, food chain sa to grazing food chain ba to so manata sa kuan uh, grazing food chain o detritus food chain So karon. Diri na punta sa parasitic food chain. So next guys is the parasitic component food chain. When you see parasitic component food chain, this is operates in many ecosystem. Either consumer or producer is the parasitize and the food passes to the to the smaller organism. Which is a uh, tree Uh, nag start niya siya sa kung ano treat fruit uh, nag start niya siya sa example ang kanyang parasitic kuan, component food chain is nag start niya siya sa trees trees then fruit eating bird then gikaon sa lice and bugs to bacteria to fungi mo na siya ang sample sa parasitic start niya siya sa trees which is uh, gikaon niya gik, uh, na, na yung mga bird eating uh, mga fruit eating birds so Then, ang katong mga birds, no, gikaon na po sa lice and bugs. Then, kaon na po sa bacteria. Kaon na po sa, then, padong na po sa punjay. Sa mga na siya, guys. Sa so, food wave. Dari, humanata sa, ano, humanata sa food chain. Dari, napunta sa food wave. Kung saan man yung food wave. Food wave, guys, is uh, network. Means network. Such as spider wave. Uh, World Wide Wave or WWW World Wide Wave World Wide Wave WWW World Wide Wave Spider World Wave is a network of food chain is a network of food chain ang tinikuan food wave which is mini food chain interconnected sampo na lang ana isang insect ang insect is 
uh, gikaon sa pwede makaon sa bird eagle, pwede makaon sa fish, pwede makaon sa grass, pwede makaon sa grasshopper, pwede makaon sa frog, pwede pwede makaon sa snake. Then ang frog og ang grasshopper pwede sila makinananay, og ang snake, bird, spi ang um, fish, fish og grass, oh, ang grass gikaon sa grasshopper, gikaon sa frog ang grasshopper, gikaon sa snake ang uh, frog, gikaon sa bird ang snake gikaon sa uh, um Pwede po't kaon sa ang um, fish or uh, sa bird eagle, no? Sa mato siya, guys. Ecological pyramid. Humana sa food wave, no? Ang food wave is mato siyang uh, network such as uh, the world wide wave is a network of food chain. Network of food chain yung parang food wave. Which is mini food chain interconnected mo na siya ang food wave. Then, dire sa sunod nga kuan is ang ecological pyramid. Eco, uh, ecological pyramid, guys, is, is developed by Charles Elton, 1927. Charles Elton, 1927. Charles Elton, 1927. Sige, develop niya ang um, ecological pyramid. Which is the diagramic representation of tropic structure. In which the tropic level are depicted. So representation of tropic structure in which the tropic level are depicted. Si Charles Elton, Charles um, Elton of 1927, developed the ecological pyramid. Next, next, next. Um. next na sabi is humana ta sa kuan guys sa uh, ecosystem next na pud nga topics nga part 3 sa chapter 2 nato is the biodiversity so diri ta sa biodiversity when we see bio guys as mani siya ang it means life bio means life uh, diversity means variety so when we say biodiversity this is bio ang bio means Life, then diversity means variety. Ecosystem diversity set of biotic component. Ecosystem, then ang kining biodiversity day is gi, kuan siya, gi, uh, divide siya into three. Which is the ecosystem diversity, species diversity, genetic diversity. We know we say ecosystem diversity. This is a set of biotic uh, and abiotic component which is interacted together. No mano siya mga ecosystem diversity. Biotic and uh, abiotic component. Biotic means living organism. And then, abiotic is non-living organism. Which is, if this certain biotic and abiotic will interact together, this is what we call ecosystem. So, mag-create na ng ecosystem diversity. Species diversity, guys, is, is group of organism the, uh, of the same kind, no? Is known as species. So, species diversity, guys, is, is the diversity between different species. So, a species is the diversity between different species. Muna siyang species diversity. So, next, guys, is the genetic diversity. We know see the genetic diversity, guys. Uh, species with different genetic characteristic is known as subspecies, subspecies or genera. So, kumana ta sa ecosystem diversity, no? Dari na punta sa genetic. So, kumana ta sa ecosystem diversity, the species diversity. So, pangkatulungan type there is a biodiversity is the genetic diversity so di when we say di genetic diversity uh, species with different genetic characteristic is known as subspecies or genera so ang kinin genetic diversity di ay is kuan siya mo measure the variety of uh, version of the same uh, gene within individual species so yang i measure ang variety of uh, version of, uh, uh, of the same gene of the same gene gene of the same gene, genes, genes, sa mga pangalitok, within the individual species. So, function, there are two function of biodiversity, which is, ang kining biodiversity day is, is kuwan siya, source, source on which the entire human depend for food, fiber, shelter, fuel, and medicine. So, ang kining kuwan day, uh, biodiversity is, mauni siya atong source, which is, uh, all human depend food, fiber, shelter, fuel, 
and medicine diri tanaga sa biodiversity mo na sa atong source then ang sunod na po is kuan kini ding biodiversity is naglead sa stability in climate water soil air and overall health by biosphere so mga kuan naga lead sa stability sa atong climate water soil and uh, overall health of bio biosphere then ang sa may value there are aning biodiversity the uh, uh, there are two there are two value of biodiversity which is the direct value and the indirect value when we see a direct value this is a value of biodiversity which is a, um, the first value of biodiversity which is um, there are two types divided into two types which is the consumptive value and then the productive value when we see consumptive value this is nature of productive that are consumed directly so mani siyang direct value day guys is kwan oh Yes, by direct value day guys is divided into two which is the consumptive value and the use value and then the um, productive use value. When you see consumptive, this is uh, nature's productive that are consumed directly. Mas umado siyang ang consumptive. This is nature's productive which is makonsume na to siya directly. Then, ay kaduha is the productive. This is refers to the product that are commercially harvested. So, muna siya ang mga pra uh, mga product which is harvest in order to sell mana sya productive kita wag sya productive use value so there are two which is the consumptive which is um productive that are consumed directly ko idai na to dito then ang kining productive is kan harvested for commercial purposes then kaduha guys is, is the nga type sa kan uh, nga value diri sa biodiversity is the indirect value so when we see indirect value guys is, This is provide economic benefit with being harvested and do not appear in GDP or gross domestic product. So, there are two type of uh, indirect value which is the non-consumptive, optional value, existence value, information value, and then the aesthetic value. Ito sa guys. Next guys is the treat. Kumana ito sa kung ano biodiversity. Proceed na din sa treat to biodiversity. When we say, no, treat to biodiversity so any disturbance in natural ecosystem tend to reduce its biodiversity so muna siyang treat to biodiversity so any disturbance in natural ecosystem so treat to biodiversity na mga disturbance disturbance in our natural ecosystem reduces its biodiversity so any change in the ecosystem lead to the major in, in, imbalance and uh, treatment the normal ecological cycle so muna siya mga treat to biodiversity which is ang um, treat to biodiversity is any disturbance in natural ecosystem tend to reduce its biodiversity any change in uh, system lead to major imbalance and threaten the normal ecological cycle so causes loss of biodiversity causes so may mga causes nga kan um nga mawala ang biodiversity so um if mawala ang biodiversity Uh, and dahil kayo yung mga pwede mahitabo which is ang unang una na is ang habitat loss so walang biodiversity mawala, wala po na nga habitat this is loss of population or of interbreeding organism so ang so may kuhan ka pasibol nga ma mahitabo ng habitat loss so katong deforestation destruction of wetland habitat fragmentation raw material production of drugs illegal trade developmental activities so mga siya mga habitat loss habitat loss is uh, deforestation nga pwede ang ah, mahitabo ng habitat loss if uh, ipapala yun continue natin deforestation destruction of wetland habitat fragmentation raw material production of drugs illegal trade developmental activities so mga siya guys so itong habitat loss recap na to habitat loss is loss of population of interbreeding organism then ay kaduha guys, guys nga mahitabo if wal, mawala ang diversity biodiversity is uh, pouching of wildlife which is ang pouching, pouching of wildlife is refers to the killing um, animals or commercial hunting so there are two types of pouching pouching of wildlife which is the substance pouching and the commercial activities so which when we see substance pouching this is the killing of um, animals for survival so killing animals para itong kaunon in everyday life then ang commercial activities is mauna siya hunting of animals in order to sell their product mato sa guys then next uh, is the ma man wildlife sa man siya then next na po guys is the usa kay ma kwan pwede na to buhaton in order to conserve ma conserve 
ang atong biodiversity. So, uh, dahil kayo siya, pwede na ito baton guys. But, the main good ano nga akong nakuha dito sa akong, uh, main good nga akong nakuha sa akong nising sa akong mind. Then, uh, pinaka-importante para sa ako is stop illegal hunting and treat of animals. So, mano siyang conservation of biodiversity. Cropping pattern should be changed near the Paris border. Mano siya guys. So, mano ito sa kuan. Uh, dito na po ta sa um, six, number 6 saman ta so there are 2 type of conservation there are 2 type of conservation guys as in order nga makonserve na to ang ato ang biodiversity which is the in situ conservation then and then last is the ex situ conservation when we say in situ conservation guys as this is a type of uh, conservation of bi biodiversity that was involved protection of flora and uh, fauna within its natural habitat only protected areas no or also known as protected areas which is dili siya artificial which is uh, this is a kind of conservation which is dito sa ilang natural nga environment no which is um sample lang ani is biosphere second is that a uh, uh, national park then third is wildlife sanctuary then last is the gene sanctuary so when we see biosphere um this is a uh, type of um in situ conservation covered 5000 uh, kilometer uh, square kilometer they are normally used to protect for a long time then second is the uh, national park area dedicated for the conservation of wildlife along with the environment mo na national park then third is the wildlife sanctuary served for the conservation of animal ang wildlife sanctuary wildlife sanctuary is reserved for the reserved for the uh, conservation of animals then next is the genry sanctuary when we say genry sanctuary uh, other project do not conserve uh, do not uh, other project to the conservation of animals genry sanctuary is uh, other project to the conservation of animals other project to the conservation is money ang genry sanctuary when we say Uh, conserve for the conservation of animals is mado siya ang wildlife sanctuary wildlife sanctuary when we say area dedicated for the conservation of wildlife along the environment mado siya ang mga national park then when we say kwan, covered national use protect for a long time is mado siya ang biosphere so in situ guys is, no? in situ conservation is involved protection of flora and fauna within each natural habitat is outside no which is ang in, advantage aning kuan guys in, in situ conservation is kuan siya cheap and convenient so barato din convenient siya ba di siya kinaawa ni siya nang inihanglan og mga materials di siya kayo mahal og materials which is nagcover lang siya og dako nga area which is is ang second is the species get adjusted to natural disaster so species dako no uh, adjusted to natural just disaster drought flood Paris so naka uh, kuna siya kanang uh, mga species dra uh, is adjust na daan which is um, layo na siya sa mga sa population which is uh, sa kuan human population or community which is nakalahi ng ilang uh, par park in order nga if mag kuan dra kuan disaster kuan so nana sila sa da ilang lugar daan which is di na sila mahalo pa dito sa ato ang communities di ba human community then second uh, disadvantage ni guys is kwan nagcompose siya og large surface of earth so nagcompose siya large surface of the earth which is baka kwan siya para ragid siya which is para ragid sa mga uh, wildlife which is uh, in situ is nagcompose siya man siya disadvantage because gicompose niya ang kwan large surface of the earth you know uh, which is ang dapat didto pud taga puyo uh, para sa ilahi preserve para sa atong animals then maintenance is not proper due to shortage of stuff and pollution mas ang disadvantage guys then i can do up nga two types of uh, sa two types of conservation guys is um ex situ sa to ang una kay in situ man to in situ conservation i can do is ex situ conservation when we say ex situ conservation this is involved of protection of flora and fauna outside outside their natural environment their natural habitat which is involved uh, maintenance and um, uh, breeding or in of, of endangered plant and animals so kanalang an example na is botanical garden sedge bank 
microbial uh, culture collection, tissue and cell culture, um, museum, museum, and geological garden. So, mato sa exito, guys. Which is, um, according sa National uh, Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources, ah, tam, rice kide. So, National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources is, kuwani siya, preserve agricultural and hort horticular hor horticultural crops. So, ang NPBGR or National Bureau of Plant, of Plant Genetic Resources is nag-preserve niya sa uh, agricultural and botanical crops. Then, ay kaduha is the NPAZR, which is the National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources, is preserve the semen of domestic domesticated bumain animal. Then, ang sunod is ang NF, NFTCR, National Facility for Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory. So, National Facility National Facility National Facility for um, Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory Akong memorize hindi National uh, NFPTCR is National uh, Facility National Facility for Plant National Facility for Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory um, National Facility Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory National Facility National Facility for Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory National Facility for Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory So ang kining ko National Community uh, National Facility Plant Tissue Cultural Respiratory is conservation of varieties of crop plants or trees done using tissue culture So conservation of varieties of crop plants or trees done using tissue culture Advantage aning ko exito guys is ko siya Yeah, ang mga endangered species will having it a chance to uh, to increase no mas a chance nga mo increase it is because of the special care and attention aning kuan man siya ang first nga advantage ikaduha is ang animal daw ko no ikaduha is ang animal have assured to have longer lifespan it is because the food water shelter has already provided na sa ila ha? which is man siya ikaduha nga kuan Um, um, advantage no sa animal which is kuha na siya maka ma, ma, ensure na yun nga taas nilang lifespan is because na ang food shelter and uh, water is naka provide naman daan which is gihatag na sa kuha naka provide na then mato then so no discarded all ang katong po last nga kuha advantage is kuha ang katong mga animal nga dili mabuhi dito sa ilang natural environment is ga, matagan sila o kuha chance nga mabuhi through artificial through, through dili siya natural through in situ conservation so gaan siya chance nga mabuhi dili asa ko an in situ nga katong mga ta, kuha, nga di na mabuhi silang uh, natural environment dapat so nasunod uh, nga ang kuan na po ang disadvantage so may mga disadvantage ka so ang disadvantage ani guys is ko an it is an expensive method so mahal uh, um kan um mahal kining kuan in situ conservation kay kuan nanginalan siya mga technologies uh, while ang katong in situ is kuan siya uh, kuan siya kayo cheap brato kay kuan ba natural kuan naman siya wanin na siya kalang mga technology while ang kining kuan in situ nanginalan siya mga technologies mga chemical sa pamandra uh, in order nga ma kuan mag, ma, ma ku, kuan contain ang uh, need sa ato ang kuan mga endangered plant and animals then sunod guys is, is kuan animal cannot survive in their natural environment so diri ang mga animal ani diri ah animals or a plant is dili di, di na sila mabuhi dito sa natural environment it is because na added na sila diri sa ato ang sa uh, in situ conservation nga way of living of conservation so mato sa guys is, ang overall uh, topic uh, sa chapter 2 hope nga namo na learned og unta ah uh, salamat sa nagtan naminaw so ah uh, inyo na lang himog kan music para mo kan sing sa yung mind makapasa lagi ta tanan ha 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 mana to sa guys by the way i am from Arjun Yamba from section Eco South of South Way College of Technology of San Francisco Agusan del Sur Caraga